Hello, Jubilee Church, and welcome to day six of prayer and fasting. We are so thankful that you are continuing on, pressing on in this journey of faith with us. My name is Mary Chopin, and I am a member of Jubilee Sunset Hills. Our theme today is surrendering to the will of Jesus. And our passage comes from Romans 12, 1 and 2. Let's read it together. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercy of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Well, before we dive in, let me just give you a quick overview of Romans. This is written by the Apostle Paul, and he wrote it to a church in Rome. And this church, uh, the culture was collided, and the church itself was divided. And so what Paul wanted to do is write this letter because he wanted them to be united as a body of Christ so that they could bring the gospel to the other regions. <clears throat> So Paul's appealing with the church and he's saying, therefore, in light of God's mercies. So this therefore is talking about the 11 chapters that happened before chapter 12. And it's basically sharing the gospel. That's what the first 11 chapters of Romans is about. It's talking about our brokenness, our helplessness, our helpless estate and how we need a rescuer. And it also points us to the solution, which is we needed a holy and righteous God, and we needed Jesus. Romans 3 says, sinners by nature all fall short of the glory of God. Then later in Romans, we hear that the wages of sin is death. Now, what are they talking about? The wages of sin is death. Well, we know that from Genesis chapter 3, when Adam and Eve sinned, sin entered the world. And what did God tell them? If you eat of that tree, you will surely die and they ate of the tree. And so we inherited that sin, but it also talks in Romans. It doesn't stop with our sin. <laughs> it doesn't stop there. It says that we have this free gift of eternal life. So we don't have to be dead. We can have eternal life. And that comes from a loving God. And it's a God who demonstrated his love for us that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us and God sent his one and only son to do that. So what does one have to do to receive this free gift? Well, it says that one just needs to trust in Jesus to be Lord of their life. The Bible says in Romans, whoever calls on the name of Jesus will be saved. This is what Paul is referring here to here when he's saying in view of God's mercies, God's tender, loving, compassionate, forgiving mercies for his broken, sinful people. And it's talking about his amazing grace toward us. So Paul is saying this is how you should respond to your God, the God of mercies, by being a living sacrifice, surrendering to Jesus daily having him be the Lord of your life. And it means surrendering our, our ideas of what we think is right or what the world is telling us is right and saying, okay, God, okay, Lord Jesus, I'm gonna trust what your word says. I'm gonna trust that you know what's right for me. You know what is acceptable and I'm gonna surrender my life to you and into your word. So how do we know what is acceptable when we are surrounded by the culture that is colliding too? We're just like the Roman culture. We have so many ideas. We are being polluted by all these bombarded messages and ideas of what truth is. But the Bible says in this passage, not to be conformed to this world, but to be transformed by the renewal of your mind so that you can test what is right and what is acceptable and what is good and what is right, not by the world's eyes, but by God's eyes. So Christian, as you worship the Lord, 
we all can worship him and we can surrender our life to Jesus. It's a daily renewal of our mind. It's a daily surrender to Jesus and his lordship and his ways. And we can ask the Holy Spirit to help us in this walk. We can help, we can ask him to help us discern what the Bible says. And we can help the, ask the Holy Spirit for more and more help to help us to walk out what God says is acceptable and pleasing. And that is our living sacrifice. So Jubilee Church, we can walk in the power of the Holy Spirit, becoming these shiny instruments, being used to be light in the world that pierces into the darkness and brings the hope of Jesus to our broken and fallen world. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you. We thank you for your son Jesus and for the gift of salvation and what it brings. We worship you as the merciful Savior who loved us even while we were still sinning. Help us, O Lord, not to be conformed to the world. Renew our minds, God, by the power of your Holy Spirit and the truth of your word so that we know how to live lives that are pleasing and acceptable to you. Help us to surrender to Jesus daily and live our lives as a reflection of him. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.